Yo, what's good, man? So check this out. $2,000 day. All right. 26 trades. Compound plan looking good so far. You feel me? Matter of fact, let me just show you how that. Boom. So I'm on my compound plan, and I advise everybody to make one. All right. So right now, I'm supposed to be right here for today. Now, it says I ain't supposed to be here until April 9th, and it is March the 26th. I'm actually here extra early. Right, so on the 26th, I'm actually supposed to just now be hitting 3k. All right, but we've been running it up. You feel me? Because I've been feeling aggressive, I've been feeling good. The market been treating your boy right, and now I'm way up here. So by tomorrow, I'm gonna try to hit this 14. I'm already at 13 right now. Try to hit this by tomorrow. Uh, so I'm just chipping away at it because I hit this today, but I had to chip away at this because they want me to make 1800. And the bigger these amounts get, you know, I'm gonna have to go a little, go a little crazy with it, but. Uh, <clears throat> let me just, you know, go over some confirmations with y'all. Euro USD is about to go up. How do I know that? Stochastic low outside the Keltner channel. And we get in these right here. The double arrows up. All right. So that's how I know. Then what you do is you come over here and find you a zone. I see the market is currently right here, right? If we drew that straight across. That'll be a zone. All right. Now, let me go ahead and grab one of these so you can see. That's one zone that we're currently at right now. So we're currently at this zone. If it doesn't, uh, they're going to buy right there for about a minute. I was about to say, if it doesn't pass this, then it's going to go up. But if it does, then I'll just mark the next zone. But y'all see how fast that was and how I be knowing, right? These are, all the, these are just, uh, some of the trades I took today. You know what I'm saying? You know, some of the trades I took today. I'm a little stew. But this is how I'm able to really get over here and smack these markets up. All right? Because I understand confirmations and I wait on those. We only like high probability setups. So if you're asking, like, how do, do I become more successful? How am I growing this account? Because as you can see right here. We started with just $1,000, guys, on the 14th, really on the 12th. But like I said, I had to remake this. So on the 12th, we started with $1,000, and I'm now at $13,000, all right? Uh, just growing it and growing it and growing it, right? So I want to help you be able to do this kind of stuff, guys. I want to help you be able to do this. And someone asked me before real quick, because I know this is new, I guess, um, this little bell icon right here that you see going up and down where my mouse is, uh, if you click the bell, it sets a price alert, right? So now you can kind of see that this gray line right here is now a price alert. So all that means is if price comes up here and smacks it, it's going to let me know, hey, price was hit. So, you know, if you away from the computer or something and you want to say, okay, if price hits this point, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and come look at the computer and see what it's talking about. You could do that. Uh, sometimes it's a little annoying. I haven't figured out how to take it, take it off yet, though, because sometimes I just be trying to move my stuff and to keep clicking my stuff. But so that's all that is, y'all. That's just a new like price alert. I don't know if that's been there, but I think somebody said it was new. I ain't really paid attention to it. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty, though. Any pair I pick, we can find a setup, right? I got this uh, H one zone pretty big, but I can find a setup. Boom. So. This right here, certified uptrend, right? Because we're above a 200. So we know certified uptrend. We're above this 200 moving average right here. All right. Then we always get a pullback and back up on this particular pair. Right now it's going back up. We already got a small pullback to the top of the Keltner. It's going to go back up. But it's going to eventually come right back down, guys, because it has to, you know? It has to. Why? The stochastic is getting high. We're getting exhausted. Okay. This is another zone over here. The market's currently right here. Another zone up here at the top. Let me do that again. Another zone up here at the top. So if we keep shooting, we're going to shoot to a probably about right here. Right? Or maybe a little bit right there. And it will drop. Again. Potentially. It's all potential because you really don't know. But these are the setups that I look for. Sometimes I don't just jump right in the market, so I recommend you don't just jump right in. Uh, but I recommend you get the best entry 
possible, right? And by doing that, you have to be patient and wait. And there's the drop. Boom. It's already dropping right now, right? So I'll mark this. I'm just doing these right now on the M1 just because, but I, I mark. I always mark on the, uh, the H1 first, as you see all these shadow boxes. These are from earlier today, what I marked up. Uh, I always mark those up, but then, like, just for this example, I'm just marking right here so y'all can see the zones. All right, so now if we pass these zones, the next zone that it could potentially hit and turn around at is where? I know you can see it right here at the top. All right, so if we don't pass that, then we know we're coming right back down. All right, if we do pass that, then where was the next place that we're going? Up here. You know what I'm saying? That's the next zone. And it just continues to do that zone to zone to zone. So once you understand zones, you'll be able to eat in these markets. All right. Once you understand your confirmations, you will be able to eat in these markets nonstop. And it just gets better and better and better every single time. All right. So let me show you. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random OTC pair. Boom. All right. So what, what, what you can know about this one is the certified downtrend already. Boom, we're already going down, why? Because the candles are below this 200 moving average. That's why. Now, we see a zone here, zone here, zone here. So logically, we're gonna get a bounce at one of these zones, right? And if we don't, we use the top of this Keltner for another reference. So if it decides to come out a little bit, come out some more of the Keltner, you already know the drops is coming. And we sell off. Or we sell off before then. The zigzag just connected. We'll see if this respects any of the zones or if it wants to make a new high. For the most part, it's been respecting these zones for quite some time. You see, respect, respect. Broke through it a little bit, came back under it, and this one is now at that same zone. So let's see what this decides to do. Will it reject and come down, right? Or will it decide to come up and come down, come back down? Or will it to come up even more, form a new candle, come back and retest this area, and then go back this way? You know? And when you're doing OTC, like I said, you have the luxury of doing 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, or 2 minutes, whatever you want to do. Uh, that right there was definitely an ultimate 5-second trade, 10-second trade, 1-minute trade. You know what I'm saying? You see it. You already got that red candle off of that same drop. See how fast you can find entries, though? Sometimes you don't have to wait on the stochastic down here because if you know zones, support and resistance, you're going to get those bounces. You'll get a bounce and a drop, just like it did all these other previous ones. All you have to do is look at the market and see what it's done before, see where it bounced before at what zone, mark those zones up, and then when it gets to that zone again, you enter your trade. You have a four-entry rule, meaning, right, that you enter the first time. If it doesn't go, you double your amount, enter again. If that doesn't go, you triple the amount to get a profit. And then you do that again. And lastly, you do your fourth entry. And if that doesn't go, you'd be done for the day. But do not over leverage your account to the point where you your fourth entry is so big that it takes out your whole account. You don't want that. All right, so you just gotta be smart about it. Like right now, my account, let's say I'm only going to risk this 284. If I lose that, then I got the choice to be done if I want to. But whenever you're in a particular trade, right? So right here, again, we got a one minute candle, five second candle, whatever. We got this candle. We broke out of this zone. And now we're coming back to retest, right? Usually the market retests and tries to figure out if it's going to go this way or if it's just going to break right back through, come down here and keep going. All right. Looking at this particular pair, all right, looking at AUD USD, we see we at an H1 zone, strong zone, stochastic low, and again, we're getting this. All right, so let's practice the four inch rule. I might mess around and get in on y'all, but I might just get in small. I might do like $20 trades, so I don't do nothing stupid. You feel me? So I'm gonna get in one time here, and then if this doesn't go, then I'll get in again. All right, now. At this point, you got to figure out where's the market pushing to. So I look to the left and I say, okay, where, where could he push to? 
we could definitely push to the end like it did last time, right? So if it does push down here, then I'm looking to buy again. I'm probably looking to buy some more here as well, but you know, I'm gonna wait it out. See what the market is doing. Because if it continues to push, you never want to just continue to keep entering, 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 because it could have more room to push. This is the bottom of the zone. So if it gets to the bottom of the zone, we mess around, could take another trade. Right? Or before then. You got, I got four entries. Right? So we are pushing to the bottom. That's what it's looking like. We did change on the percentage, which is fine. So now I'm going to double up. Let's double up here. See if the market wants to push up. If not, I know here is my next entry. Now, if it comes below this, I got to go find another entry because I'm on my second, right? So I get three. I get three entries. We're outside the Keltner. We're getting double arrows and we at the stochastic. This is what I mean by taking high quality trades. Now, if it doesn't go at all, then I am not mad because everything lined up perfect, right? This is when you can't, you can't be mad. That's just the market, you know what I'm saying? If everything lined up perfect and you took it, hey, and it didn't go, then you're good. But if it did go, hey, then you know that strategy is just killer every single time, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what happens. We got about 10 seconds. See if we stay in that same spot. So far, so good. Four, three, two, one boom and boom so we doubled that up and we got the trade all right so that's what i'm talking about high quality setups y'all this is this is night and day you wait on them setups like that every single day i mean they happen all day long all right so what was my confirmations yet again outside this keltner channel these candles outside the keltner and you know they have to stick close to the keltner channel and they also have to stick close to this 20 moving average right and then stochastic low and signals were saying buy at the time right now they're kind of switching up all right they were having a double arrow up so since we got that now we're like yo that's money you feel me that's a money trade now again the reason why that buy didn't last that long it may still have a little more room to go up but you have to remember we are under the 200 this is a downtrend so the furthest that it would pull back would be about to the middle of this Keltner channel, which you seen what happened last time, push to the middle, we drop. If it decides to come here. Now the bottom of this Keltner can also act as a resistance zone. So it could bounce from here and then go back down as well. Uh, but remember, ultimately we're in a downtrend. All right. So the best place to buy uh, on, a, on a downtrend, is at the bottom, the best place to sell is on the pullback, right? On the pullback on the downtrend. And then you sell back down, right? So you buy here, B, U, and Y. And then you S, E, L, L at the pullback. You feel me? This is a little ugly, but y'all get that? So that's what that is, all right? So, Check your charts every single day. Don't rush the trades. Mark them up correctly, right? And take high quality setups. And remember, if it doesn't go, that's okay. As long as everything lined up, you good. And then you keep yourself risk managed and you in that thing, man. But I love y'all. Lord willing, I'll see y'all in another video. I'll let your boy. Let's